Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere in Wisconsin with a uh, person that has just been pulled over for uh, no seatbelts. And oh my goodness, do they ever throw a fit about it. They're ripping up large sums of money and everything like that over a $10 ticket. This guy is the ultimate Karen. And thanks to Code Blue Cam for po originally posting this. This is some good stuff that should be passed around. At any rate, let's go ahead and uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> I'm Debbie Ortiz with the Racine County Sheriff's Office. Stop because your seatbelt isn't on, and we're actually out. You put it on when we're pulling up behind you. I watched you. That's not true. And he looked the body right was fully right leaning forward, sir, when you took the turn on. I watched you put it on. We're not going to argue about a $10 seatbelt ticket. Hey, it's right here. Okay. Driver's license and insurance, okay? I'm not giving you enough. This is not Driver's license and insurance, sir. You're going to make this more difficult than it has to be. Your driver's license and insurance, sir. Do you see this? Sir, do you want to be forcefully removed from the vehicle? We're not wearing a seatbelt. That's not true. I have this on. Driver's license and insurance, sir. Are you planning on calling us today? No. Yeah, dude, I really don't think that'll fool the cops. I mean, they've been around the block a time or two. They know what uh, somebody frantically putting on their seatbelt looks like. And besides, the fine is only $10, so pay the damn ticket and move on with your life. But of course, that's not what this idiot is going to do. That's not what this male Karen is going to do. Uh... He's going to destroy hundreds of dollars worth of things, including actual money, because he doesn't want to pay a $10 ticket. You're not going to kill you, okay? I, I'm an American. I have my seatbelt. Oh, that's great to know, okay? You were not wearing a seatbelt when you drove past me. We saw you putting it on while we were behind you. You can argue this all day long and make this even worse for yourself. Otherwise, just give us this, the, your ID and the insurance, sir. What do you want my money? Driver's license and insurance, sir. You're making a big driver's license and insurance, sir. You're making a bigger deal out of this than it has to be. For my seatbelt, yes. Man? Yep. Why well, have my seatbelt? You have a traffic on. violation. Your seatbelt was not on, sir. So can you have your driver's license and insurance? You know, besides him spouting off, I'm an American. I haven't heard him use any uh, real soft hard talking points. So it kind of makes me wonder if this is just a regular dude on the road who just wants to throw a hissy fit over a simple little traffic ticket. But let's go ahead and carry on, see if there's anything else we can spot as far as a soft heart ideology goes. But I really doubt it. I think this guy's just, well, pissed off. Because I watched you put him on, sir. Now please put him on where I'm going to ask you to step out of the vehicle. And when I do so, that's a lawful order. This and if I have to, I can forcefully remove you from the vehicle, sir. I All right? I broke my glasses. You like that? Yeah. $150 fucking glasses. Well, that's your problem. Okay, you're acting like a child right now. my money? Here. You're acting like a child. I want your driver's license and your insurance. Here's everything I have. Here's my money. You know, uh, this tantrum reminds me of some of the stuff that I see uh, just about every day when I deal with uh, young students. Especially when it comes to those suffering from some sort of emotional behavioral disorder that, uh, well, I've got to figure out a way to overcome with them. Yeah, his temper tantrum right here kind of reminds me of a uh, borderline personality disorder. But that's just my opinion based upon the observations of overreaction to a mild stimulus. But, well, it could be anything at this point. But uh, at this point, I'm just going to call it a temper tantrum and uh, call him an idiot for even destroying all that property that is so much more greater in value than the $10 ticket he would have had to pay. You're money. acting like a child, sir. Here's my card. Here's everything. Your driver's license, sir. Hand Take it to me. Money. Take my money. Take this, too. Take that, Your driver's license, sir. You're just destroying all my stuff. You're ruining my holiday. Yeah. You should be a son that I'm doing. You... Ripping up the money. I spent $500 for my fucking family. That's great. Huh? Driver's that's license, important. sir. Nothing. Are you, are you intoxicated, sir? Yeah, if it's not borderline personality disorder, it might be something that he consumed that made him this cranky. Because this is not exactly a normal response to uh, getting a $10 ticket. 
kind of drugs are you on, sir? Well, yeah, here's a, you need those two, we'll just rip that up too. What kind of drugs are you on, sir? Your driver's oh, license. Go get it, take, take whatever I'm you want. I'm not going into take, your vehicle, take sir. My, take my Can I have your driver's line. license, please? we we'll rip all this up too. Got enough now. Here, take this. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah, so you can take so, my money. So you take my money. Remain in the vehicle, sir. I'll be back take up my with money. you, okay? Look, I have my seatbelt on. You take my money. My seatbelt's on, and they're accusing me of something. You can't ever enjoy life anymore around here without being harassed and accused of something. I have my fucking seatbelt on. If you give me a ticket, you pulled up on me. I have my seatbelt on. That's exactly what's happening. Five years ago, yep. Dude, whatever happened to you throughout the day, you need to take a chill pill because it's not really worth causing so much damage to your own property over a small ticket. Which I'm sure once you uh, get your mind clear and everything like that, you realize later on, it's like, uh, did I make a total ass of myself? How much damage did I cause over that little temper tantrum? I have a $35 fucking glass of metal drinking. Might as well just fucking start dumping on my blood right now and give him that too. It's the situation. This dude's freaking out because we stopped him for a seatbelt and he put it on when we were behind him. Like literally freaking out. He's tearing up money and he's, he's freaking out. So if you just want to go up there with him while I run him out real quick and issue him this citation. <laughs> freaking out. Seriously. I have my seatbelt on. These people pull me over and they pull up on me and say I don't have my seatbelt on. It's right here. I can see it. I can taste it. Do you realize how you're acting right now? Irrational. It's upsetting to me. Or upsetting to you that you drove past me without a seatbelt. That's a crock of you okay. know that. Don't, okay. don't give me that. Okay. Yeah, he's tearing up cash in his car and throwing it all over the place. I have my seatbelt on, and you're giving me a ticket for my seatbelt being on. I have your seatbelt on. My seatbelt's on, you give me a ticket. You're taking my goddamn thing, you're giving me a ticket for my damn seatbelt on. You do not have a seatbelt on. My seatbelt is on. When you pull up to a stop, my seatbelt is on. It's not on. It, it was on when we pulled up because you put it on, on when, when you got on the air. That's not true. Oh my god. That's not true. My seatbelt's on. You're delusional. My seatbelt is on. You pull up to the traffic stop. Well, yeah, you had it on. My seatbelt is on. Hey, man. Dude, this is not the time or place to argue about a seatbelt violation. If you want to argue that point, take it to court. Do it in court, not on the side of the road. So if I drive past you, right, and I don't have my seatbelt on, and then you get behind me and I put my seatbelt on, does that mean you that's have it on? That's not true. I'm not making guilt of anything. My seatbelt okay, is on. You don't have any guilt. I saw you do it. I can't afford ten dollars seatbelt ticket for no reason. Well, you could have afforded it, but you ripped your money off. Because that's all it is. All they do is collect revenue for the state. That's all it is. Collecting revenue. I got my seatbelt. I'm getting in trouble for having my seatbelt. A ten dollars oh. seatbelt ticket, like it's the end of the world. My seatbelt's on. I shouldn't be getting a ticket. I got my seatbelt on. Dude, you can't afford to pay a ten dollar ticket. Well, what about all that stuff you just tore up? You tore up several hundred dollars worth of cash. You tore up a uh, set of glasses that were worth about, uh, oh, $120 or something like that. I mean, you could have paid for it without any issues, you moron. I see right. belt on. Get your information back, all right? My seatbelt on. It's Let me show you a citation for failure to wear your seatbelt. All right. It's on. Is your body camera right. on? Okay. I got my seatbelt on, you know. It's Fantastic. been on. I'm happy it should have been on before you left. It was on. So... It's ten dollars, all right. Ten dollars for the first yeah. And you're freaking out over ten bucks. Ten bucks. Yep, because we're doing a click it or ticket campaign. That's why we're out here. If you take some of your money together, maybe they'll help you out with yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Non-mandatory court date of August 11, 2022, at 2 p.m. at the Racine County Circuit you Court. You want ten dollars? Give me ten bucks. We don't post bond here, all right. You have to pay on it before the court date. If you choose to pay, you pay online, in person, or by mail. Information on the bottom of the citation, as well as on the bond envelope, which is self-explanatory. Okay, you have any questions? No. All right, make sure you're buckled up before you leave next time, sir. All right, be safe. You got good eyes. Enjoy your weekend. Yeah. Now, the officer is right. Something can be done about that uh, money being destroyed. Uh, you can take it to the bank and make sure that all the serial numbers match up and everything like that. And the bank can replace the money for you. Well, I know this because, well, my landlord had two $100 bills that were pretty much destroyed. The serial numbers were still intact, and I made that exact same suggestion, so we went and tried it. And what do you know? It worked. So, dude, go to the bank and get those things 
replace, get that all that money replaced that you destroyed. Though so, uh, you will have to pay for your own set of glasses again. I'm $110 for that uh, mistake right there over a $10 ticket. I mean, just sheer insanity right there, dude. I mean, uh, if I if you had borderline personality disorder, it'd be understandable. But if you are just a average person with no mental disorders whatsoever, well, that was a very costly mistake on your part. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.